Hey, so you want to know how to play your PC games on the new Oculus Quest 2 wirelessly? Yeah, like with no cables. None at all. Go, 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 go. I can hear us. I can hear us talking. This is so scary. <laughs> now, this is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to do this. Make sure you watch the whole video completely because you don't want to get stuck on anything, which happened to me. Now, guys, here are the requirements. This is not completely free, all right? It is a lot cheaper than having a an Oculus Link or a USB-C to USB-C. And of course, the obvious reason that it's wireless. So, you know, it's just a lot better. So these are the requirements. So obviously you need a Quest two or a quest one either one is fine you need a cable usb you know just the one that i showed you guys you're gonna need the oculus store or the steam store and then importantly you need virtual desktop on the quest all right on the quest store not on the oculus rift store on the quest store that is how you're going to be able to connect your quest 2 to the computer you need a good enough Wi-Fi, I'll give you guys exactly the recommendations and the minimum requirements all down below in the description. Just make sure to look at that. I'll try to cover everything there. And finally, a VR ready PC. So step number one, guys, is to create a developer account. So once you click on the link, it'll bring you to this page. You wanna create a developer account. Paste the link or redirect to you. Here it is. Once you get here, you have to create new organization. Uh, you can write whatever you want. I just wrote Green Diamond. I already did this, so you don't have to do this. I understand, and then hit submit, all right? Step number two is to install the ADB drivers. Once you download them, you wanna make sure you right click on this and click install. Next, you wanna to go to your phone and enable developer mode. You have to go to settings, then click on the Oculus Quest 2, click on more settings, developer mode, and switch. If it's not enabled for you, make sure you enable it, developer mode on. Now step four, you wanna connect your Oculus Quest uh, to your PC with the link. After that, you wanna download and install SideQuest. Link down below in the description. Now, once you're on SideQuest, you have to connect it, right? It's gonna say connected right here. It has to be a green light uh, with it says connected. Once that uh, shows up, you wanna go over here to the search bar and write virtual desktop. You know, just write virtual whatever. It's gonna show up right here. You wanna sideload virtual desktop, all right? All right, and once you download it, you should be all good. And guys, a quick tip, you gotta make sure all of your games are installed at least in the same SSD before continuing, otherwise you're not gonna be able to access all your games within virtual desktop. Now, this is something I messed up in because I had some downloaded like on one hard drive and then others on another hard drive, so I had to go over there and manually move them, or at least you can move them within the, the Oculus store right here. I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. You want to open this up and go over to library and here's all your games. I have to, I moved onward. I have to move Boneworx still. So I'll just do it for you. So over here, you'll click on the, on the three little buttons things, move this one, you know, just make sure they're all on the same one. And there it goes. It says installing It's going to take a while. And once you do that, they're going to automatically show on virtual desktop. Okay, guys, some extra tips. If you already have virtual desktop, uh, installed on here and you know you already bought it then this process is already free for you no but if you don't have you're gonna have to buy it uh, it's, 20, it's 20 bucks on the quest and make sure you download the virtual streamer app it already tells you to do this once you uh, open it on the virtual desktop so you know what to do now when you open up virtual desktop uh, maybe you should even reset your computer if, it does, if this doesn't work. You should go over on the menu and then now you have this little tab that says games and you should have all your Oculus games and all your Steam games that you have bought. And it's that simple. Hopefully this fix all your problems. And if there are any problems, please tell me in the comments down below. I can understand how this can be really confusing. So let me just give you guys some pros and cons of this. Uh, if you can go this route of doing it wirelessly, your Quest 2 only has a two hour battery life. So you wanna make sure you either buy an external uh, power bank, which you can connect through USB type C, just like that, or buy the Elite Strap. I'm gonna have all these links down below in the description. You guys can buy the Oculus Quest 2 from me and, uh, and other Elite Straps like, and all that kind of stuff. They are affiliate links, so I get a small commission out of this. So if you go through my link, you do me a great favor. But other than that, if you guys have a great internet connection, then this should be like really, it should work really well, honestly. I tried playing Onward and it worked amazing. It worked just like as if I was on the Rift, but I was wireless. And plus uh, using the resolution that the Quest 2 has, which is an amazing resolution, really upped the game. So will this substitute PC VR? 
Well, I'm gonna be making a video just about that, just about the topic. So if you wanna follow up video talking just about this, then make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, Green Diamond. Thank you.